lot of footy to be played here yet. Laird. Over the back. And all the way home. Back to an 11-point game. Well, absolutely. You know what happens here with Adelaide Crow situation is Crowley is that uh, set on making sure Dangerfield doesn't get behind him. Yeah, He's yeah. pushing him up, pushing him up, and didn't... Uh, watch the ball so yep. that was the, the critical mistake you understand where he's coming from but wants to keep Dangerfield in front forget he's telling Lynch go for it he's going to pump it to the square and a ping he goes long Smack. and strong and all the way <laughs> that's a confidence booster that's quality straight from poor pleasure have a look at this for a kick compared to his last one it's from 55 in the wet yeah great kick from uh, Paul Pleasure. He's just come back to give a little spray to Clancy Pierce, was it there? Thompson, flick out. Douglas gets it on the boot. Go on. on. Oh. Have a look here. The Frio Docker defender come back and hit Johnson. his goalpost. Johnson smack. Yeah, that's why they put the pads on there, but uh, Dangerfield. One out in 450 is a good move. He is their only chance of being able to kick multiple goals. And he got that ball out of the stoppage and he got the handball out. And... From Sloan, spectacular. Dangerfield's inside 50. He's got it. He spins. He kicks. It rolls. It goes. <laughs> That's a goal. Out of this world. Adelaide in front by three. Oh, Rue, you did say it. I said he had a quiet third term. You said he would probably have 15, actually, you said, in the last quarter. And uh, there's no doubt here, because he has got that presence and he doesn't go to the ground and he's so strong in the body, that's why he was still in the contest to the very end. And obviously he's got a fair bit of class as well. Absolutely, from nowhere, that Lake Rose have got themselves well and truly back in this and they're leading by three points. The coaches' boxes. I think Russell Iron agrees. He's